What's up, MJ, and welcome back to WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jonas. And I'm Ryan. Today is October 4th, National Frappe Day. I don't know about you, but I could go for a nice mochaccino pumpkin caramel frappe today. That sounds amazing. Well, is it the right weather for that? We'll have to find out with Sabrizi with the weather. Hey, MJ, it's Sabrina. Today started out cool, but this afternoon will be warm with temps peaking in the mid-80s. The rest of the week will have the same weather. This weekend we'll have cold nights with temps in the mid-40s and pleasant afternoons with temps in the low 70s. Fall break shall have lovely weather with no rain currently in the forecast. In tropical weather, Category 4 Hurricane Matthew made landfall in Haiti last night, killing at least one person. That brings Matthew's death total up to three. Meanwhile, Cuba has declared a state of emergency in five of its eastern provinces, and hundreds of Miami residents have evacuated to Pensacola in preparation for this dangerous storm. Hurricane Matthew is on track to make landfall on the southeastern coast of the U.S. this weekend, so be careful if you plan on traveling. It will likely be a Category 3 when it hits Florida on Friday and a Category 2 when it makes landfall on the coast of Georgia, the Carolinas, and Virginia this weekend. I'm Sabrina, keeping you in the know for all of your weather news. Back to you guys. Thanks. That sounds perfect for my Apple Cream Ice Mocha Chica de Mayo Latte. Seniors, remember that today is the first official day you can sign up for the FAFSA for financial aid. Now this is very important as this is your way to access all of the scholarship and grants that you may be eligible for. Your parents can come after school from 3 to 7 to sign you up for the FAFSA at the Media Center. Our school had a ton of big sporting events happen today and a lot of Golden Bears were on the winning side of it. For that, we'll give it to Shannon with sports. Hey MJ, it's Shannon here with your sports. Yesterday on the boys golf team, Cooper Sears qualified for a state with a 72 and Lucas Range was close behind with a 75. The JV football team season is now over. They have gone undefeated for nine years in a row. Last night with the volleyball, our girls won all three sets against Gallatin. Tavy Bell had 15 kills, Samantha Corey had 12 digs, Ashlyn Radzinski had 19 assists and three aces, and Cassidy Harris had three blocks. Congrats to the team for a good win. They will play Wilson Central here at 5 tonight, and tickets will be $5 to get in. Later on in the week, the Lady Bears soccer team will play Lebanon here at 6.30, and last but not least, our Golden Bears will play at Antioch at 7. But even though we have a game on Thursday night, make sure to come to school on Friday. Our school attendance rate is dropping and we need to bring it back up, guys. I'm Shannon, that's all for your sports. Back to you guys. Thanks, Shannon. And congrats again to the JV team for another undefeated season. And as Shannon mentioned, we need to be here all throughout the week before fall break starts. Every day is important for attendance. Jacob is here to talk about that and more with this edition of Trending Now. Hey, I'm Jay. I'm Jacob, and welcome back to Trending News. If you didn't know, Ag Day will be taking place on Friday, and expect a short promo video coming out tomorrow and the rest of the week where BNN interviewed Mrs. Pig for any questions that you might have. Also, countdown till fall break is down to just three more days. Go ahead and ask your neighbor what they will be doing for fall break. I look forward to hearing about all of your trips. All right, guys, so I'm going to give a huge shout out to everyone who is watching right now, and apparently there's a lot of you. Thank you guys for actually showing up to school for the past 20 days because MJ just won the attendance banner back for having 97.4% attendance rate. If we keep this up, we can get some really cool stuff for our school. Plus, learning is a lot better than just chilling in your room all day. Here's a short segment of some of our BNN kids hanging up the banner and a short speech by our bear pride and joy, Mr. Brown. Check it out. Good example, when you work together, how attendance work. This 20-day attendance period was 97.44, and we have been consistently having that kind of uh, attendance throughout Matthew and High School since the releases I've been here. And this is something very important. We get the banner back last night at the uh, Board of Education meeting. So teachers, great job. Uh, students, great job. And the nice thing about this morning is sometimes when we can't, when one can't hardly get it done, they get somebody else. So in attendance, we call, wake up, come on to school, good thing. This week, hey, we got to get this weekend, then you get two weeks sleep the ladies you want to. But remember, this Friday is just as important as the Monday when we get back because we got so many things going. So, rest of the week, we got Ag Day, we got all kinds of stuff. We got volleyball tournament going on, we got football going on. There's so many things you can't afford to stay home. So, come on tonight, you and high school, and we'll get this attendance award again because that's what we're after. All right, guys. Awesome. Have a good day. Got gotcha. you. What's up, MJ? It's Chanel. Welcome back to Battle of the Classes for Bears Tackle Trivia. This week's golden question is what is the nationality of Marco Polo? And the answer is Italian. 
Last week was the final week to compete to pull out our top five who will be facing each other this Thursday. Let's see the results. Hey everyone, are you guys ready for some trivia? <laughs> Round five! Italian. Yes. Italian. Yes. Italian. Yes. Italian. No. One one. Yes. Italian. 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 Yes. 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 Friday for the Battle of the Classes team winner. BNN wants to give a special thanks to all the teachers who allowed this segment to happen. It was a great time playing with you guys and hopefully everyone learned something new this week. To all the classes that did not quite make the top five and for those who are wanting to play, don't worry, we're not going away. That's right, we're coming back after fall break to a new game. That means every class has another shot on winning that special treat. If you want your class to participate, please let your second block teacher know to email Miss Snake for further information. Again, thank you guys for allowing this game to happen. We definitely had a blast. This is Chanel Sorensen reporting. Till next time. And don't forget, stay classy, MJ. I'm taking over trivia two. Hey guys, it's Chanel. Are you guys ready for some trivia? Hey MJ, are you ready for some trivia? If you want my love, come get it. Trivia. I can't find that grip on my heart. Trivia. Trivia. Hey guys, time for some trivia. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, and I can't wait to see all the cool animals we have for Ag Day. Any students interested in being in the fall production for theater, there are tryouts this Thursday after school from 3 to 6 in the theater room. Now, let's give it off to Transformation Tuesday. Oh, Ryan, you grow up so fast. Look at the man you've become now. I try. And now for our final segment, Word of the Day. This time, 
on T Squared Detective Agency. All right, Taylor, we have a really complex case today. It's going to be a tough one. No case is too tough for the T Squared Detective Agency. All right, well, we're going to have to use some real context for this one. What's our issue? A thief stole our last donut. Criminal? Who would do that? That's what we have to figure out today. Taylor, check the box of donuts for context clues. Will do. Oh, look, I found something. Well, what is it? It's a trail. Come on, let's follow it. Hey, you. Hmm? Me? Yeah, you. What's in your mouth? Nothing. Oh, well, it's clean. Tay, use your context and look at all the crops. You'll never catch me live! Oh. That's it for WBNN Channel 9 News. I'm Jonas. And I'm Ryan. Here at WBNN, we're in touch. So you're in touch. Have, Have a great day, MJ.